snow melting and rain again, there are flooding concerns for later this week, including our basements. Meteorologist Lauren Richardson is live this afternoon in Simsbury, where they did report a decent amount of snow there. Hi, Lauren. Yeah, hi, Kara. That's so true. And you can see all the snow piled up behind me. So from Winter Storm Aspen, they got about a foot of snowfall here. So I talked to the local fire department about some tips, some helpful tips that could help you actually with any potential flooding out there. So let's actually take a look at some of those snow totals. And if you can imagine, too, all of this snow melting is definitely an issue uh, with several more inches of rain dumped on us tomorrow night into Wednesday, as Mike mentioned. So that's why we've issued that first alert weather day. Simsbury Volunteer Fire Department Chief James Baldus says it's been a rough couple of months with street flooding, river flooding, with all the rain we've received. He says the Farmington River is still higher than usual for this time of year. But there are a couple things you can do to protect your home and basement from flooding. Well, the best thing is if those people know they have wet basements, they have some pumps and so forth, make sure they're in working order. That, that's first and foremost. That's really important to do. The other thing is if you know you have snowpack that could run off your property into your basement or into your garage even, you know, try to see if you can remove that snow. Uh, try to move it out with a snowblower, whatever you can do to, to, to basically eliminate or relieve some of that water flow that could happen. Yeah, also helpful, he says some pumps have a float system that you can test manually before tomorrow to make sure they're working. Also, of course, if you do encounter any flooded roads or any flooded areas, definitely don't attempt to drive through them. Live here in Simsbury, I'm meteorologist Lauren Richardson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.